Hello and welcome to the main cave. Now in today's video, we are going to be looking at this mouse. So this is the Logitech G705 gaming mouse, but first a quick disclaimer. Now, as with all my mouse reviews, I start off with what I like about this mouse and what I don't like. Then afterwards, if you fancy it, I'll go through in a bit more detail about it. So please do let me know down in the comments below if you've used this mouse and how you've got on with it, or if you're even considering this mouse. So let's start off with then what I like about this Logitech G705 gaming mouse. Well, quite a bit actually. Firstly, I love the way it looks. The RGB and the minimalistic styling is in keeping with the Logitech Aurora theming. Also, the Logitech G Hub software is great with plenty of functions, as you'd expect, and the connection with the light speed is probably as fast as you're ever gonna need from a wireless mouse. Now, what I didn't like was, well, it was the size really. However, this isn't really a negative. This is due to me having average sized adult hands and my own personal opinion is that for me, it's just too small. As I said, I'll go into more detail in the video as I'm sure this will be perfectly fine for a lot of people. And then finally also really it's the price. Okay, so you can get it a bit cheaper than the RRP, but if it retails for around a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars, that's a lot to be asking people to pay for this. So firstly, the unboxing then, and if you've bought any Logitech mouse recently, you'll see their welcome trend to box the mouse along with printed instructions on the cardboard. This is a good move as it saves on packaging, but it still has to come with a bunch of important safety compliance and warranty information, which I'm guessing is out of their control. So also in the box, you also get a large USB cable with attached light speed dongle and a Logitech G sticker, all pretty much standard stuff. I bought this from Amazon for 75 pounds. It can be picked up in the US for $78, but the RRP as mentioned before is around hundred pounds. So well worth getting from Amazon, but is that reduction enough? So onto the specifications and it's four centimeters high, seven centimeters wide, 10 centimeters long and weighs in only 85 grams. The battery will last you 48 hours with the RGB on and it has six programmable buttons. Finally, it has a range of 100 to 8,200 DPI and with a maximum of 1,000 Hertz wireless polling rate. When you first pull it out of the box, it's hard not to be impressed. It looks great. It's sleek lines and rounded edges make it look very, very smart. It's a part of the Aurora theme, and if you've seen any of the other products, you can easily match it with them with this mouse. It's mainly plastic and feels premium, as you'd expect from a well-known brand. The plastic is slightly matted, giving it enough grip, and it feels great in the hand. The G705 has six programmable buttons, which I'll talk about more in the software section. The two main left and right clicks are very light and require hardly any pressure to actuate, and they sound like this. The scroll wheel has a button and it requires a bit more force to press, which is perfect, as I never found I was accidentally pressing it when scrolling. The button behind this is by default the DPI button, but seeing as I don't really change DPI that much, I set this to my game bar to be able to control gaming functions, which I do far more frequently. On the side are the two buttons, perfectly placed to be able to press them easily without any further movement. These are short and snappy, and again, reprogrammable and feel identical to the feel of the left and the right click. On the top, the back flap can be removed to accommodate the USB, and on the bottom is the light sync sensor. Worth noting there, this isn't the Hero sensor like a lot of Logitech's recent gaming mice, it's the light sync sensor, and it's flanked by the connection button, power switch, and two very nice large pads. And finally on the very tip is the USB-C port for charging. Now you may be forgiven for thinking the RGB on the G705 extends all the way around the mouse, However, it is just confined to the back and the sides and it stops really to go anywhere near the front. Once out, I checked out the connections and it can connect via Bluetooth and using the light speed dongle. There are advantages and disadvantages to using either, but what I'd suggest is getting a USB port free on your PC and use this light speed dongle. The advantages of Bluetooth, however, is that it leaves a USB port free if your PC has Bluetooth built in, but your report rate will limit to 125, which frankly is noticeable for most people when gaming. Now seeing this as predominantly a gaming mouse, you want the best. So the dongle it is. The small dongle can be plugged straight into your PC or what I do to eliminate any interference, I use the included USB extender. 
the G705 comes with this massive two meter long USB-C cable. On the end is a removable female USB-C to female USB-A adapter, whereby the G705 Lightspeed dongle plugs in that end. Doing it in this way means I can get the dongle pretty much close to the mouse and still be wireless. Using this way also means you can crack up the polling rate to a thousand, which is what I'd say would be the minimum for gaming. If you already own a Logitech Lightspeed keyboard, then you can connect this to your PC using that dongle, but it must be just for the keyboard. It can't be for any other Lightspeed mouse. Now, once you've got it all out and connected, you may want to tweak the settings. You do this with the Logitech G Hub software. This can be used wireless and has plenty of functions. Firstly, you can have onboard memory, meaning you can save your settings onto the mouse and not onto the PC. So connect the G705 and check for the latest firmware. Once done, you can now adjust most settings, such as your preferred DPI settings, set up to three on the fly numbers, report rate, leave that on 1000. Next down is for the buttons. You can add a command, key, action, macro, or system function to any of the six programmable buttons. Then finally, it has the RGB settings. Plenty to play with here. Make up your own color routine or just have it on a preset. I have mine set to the breathing horizontal, which gives me a nice spread. So how does it feel to use? Well, this is where I'm split, and I don't want you to think this is a negative, but I really couldn't get used to its size. I normally have the larger mouse, such as the Logitech G502X or the Razer Viper Ultimate, and I find these much more comfortable for my sized hands. I have average sized male adult hands, and the G705 is aimed at small to medium hands. I use the claw grip, but rest my palm rests occasionally, and after an hour or so of gaming, I felt like an ache in my wrist as I wasn't able to have that extra size to rest on. Other than that, it played great. Connection is fast, and at no point did I feel like it was lagging. Clicks were precise and fast. In the most part due to the fantastic left and right clicking. There is zero wobble even on a hard desk surface and on a mouse mat it was gliding around with ease. I mainly played online competitive matches and I just set my DPI accordingly and due to being lazy I just leave it on a DPI at pretty much every game that I played. I could set the DPI switch to be an onboard button but I always fill up my buttons with other useful stuff and DPI gets put down to the bottom of that list. So even at the same DPI I really enjoyed using the mouse Picking it up and moving it when I needed to wasn't an issue. You can use the left-handed or right-handed if you need to. It does feel a bit different though because the thumb rest piece is on the other side. But as I said earlier, I use the claw grip. If you prefer the palm, you can use with large hands, but again, it's not ideal. My whole hand just seemed to swallow up the mouse. So who is this mouse for then? Well, it's for someone who needs a mouse for gaming and wants that speedy wireless connection. It would match all of your other Aurora gear if you have it, but you will need to consider if the size is right for you and if it's worth the price tag. It's a fantastic looking and playing mouse, just needs to fit your wallet and your style. So there we have it then, that was my look at the G705 Aurora themed wireless gaming mouse from Logitech. Please do like, please do subscribe, and until the next video, bye bye. Thank you.